Good afternoon traders. This is Tony D from Easy Markets in Sydney. Uh, a little update for you today. We've had some risk on trading uh, Monday as uh, the risk appetite came back into the market after the Syrian strikes were not seen as too aggressive. Um, so we're thinking that the US is going to rally last night after gapping higher. It did so and it's coming up towards some uh, pretty key resistance. Those who have been watching this uh, coiling up of the of the Dow and the sort of wedging higher um, here usually ends up breaking to the top side after such price action you know higher 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 uh, then we were to retest some of these higher levels um, above 25,000 would be the natural progression now what does that generally do for uh, for the currencies well for currencies that are risk sensitive uh, you'd be looking at something like um, dollar yen and Aussie dollar being supported uh, pound yen and euro yen being supported uh, but what's been actually playing out in, in the market at the moment is that uh, the US dollar is getting sold uh, when risk is going on and it's a bit more cleaner if you're looking at things like long pound or long euro, uh, long Aussie uh, rather than the yen crosses because as you can see dollar yen is uh, struggling in the risk on environment to hold its gains so far. So when this is happening it's not so much that the market is wrong uh, but that you know the same old correlations that we trade for the last 10 years aren't really in play. Uh, as strongly at least right now anyway so it's not like you buy a dollar yen here and it hasn't got the memo that it should be 100 points higher it's you be a little bit more cautious and and stick to the majors that are moving in relation to the stocks rather than um, thinking that a pair is going to play catch up so while you can combine the two so buy pound yen instead of uh, pound you won't be getting as many pips in terms of the top side at the moment uh, while dollar yen is struggling and for those of you who sell gold uh, when stocks are doing well uh, you're not really getting too much traction there either to the downside so it's mostly US dollar weakness uh, which is causing this and if you really want to see if it's US dollar strength or weakness in the market at any moment um, what you would be looking at generally is the dollar index as the as the substitute for uh, up and down each day and if if the euro is going high and dollar yen is going lower it's almost 100% that it's, it's dollar index is, is struggling Oh, we might have a new month here. Sure. Oh, let's have a look. And so, yeah, while we're underneath 90, still um, not moving dra drastically lower, but uh, still under a little bit of pressure on the daily and the four hour, uh, you can see that the, the key level is still a little bit lower at 88, but that could come into play uh, if the dolly continues to be um, struggling here on rallies. Uh, in the coming weeks and that that would sort of line up as well uh, with the with the pound raising rates and just generally that longer term US dollar downtrend uh, that could be back into play now if we break 88 then we've got a serious uh, potential for the new new highs and in, in the euro and the pound uh, the euro itself if we have a look at it is uh, grinding higher but still it's got a fair bit of room to get back up to the uh, previous levels it almost looks like an inverse of the dollar index chart, doesn't it? Now, data-wise, um, the Aussie dollar was a little mixed today because we did have some movement come out after some a little bit weaker than expected Chinese data. It's, uh, Chinese uh, GDP is slowly falling uh, to 6.8% at the moment. Industrial production missed, uh, and so did fixed investment. Uh, also, the RBA minutes were a little bit uh, neutral, so there was not much there in terms of guidance. Uh, and the Aussie dollar is, while it's not falling quickly, uh, is uh, very happy to be range bound and it's not the preferred way of playing uh, the market at the moment in the risk on environment similar to dollar yen is underperforming uh, so is the Aussie dollar in what should be its uh, prime time if it can't do well when things are really good it can definitely do bad when things are, uh, are getting worse so that's why you'd be a little bit more hesitant uh, on buying say the Aussie on dips and the dollar yen on dips rather than buying something which is performing like the pound on dips and the euro on dips so the pound you'd be looking for pull back towards 143 and for the uh, for the euro you'd be looking for pull back towards uh, 123.50 as potential entries here if we are to get that upside uh, it's a light data week in general uh, the most important things coming up this week are the Aussie unemployment uh, on Thursday uh, and the pound CPI uh, tomorrow night on Wednesday night uh, that would be the that would be the main things that will move the market one way or the other. Uh, in terms of the Syria situation, that's died down. So it's Chinese um, 
US trade war situation. Uh, there is some still ongoing concern with Trump and some of his uh, uh, troubles with, with investigation and his personal lawyer, but they're not causing stock market moves. Most important thing that's causing stock market moves is the earnings season is upon us and they're generally considered to be quite good so far. And uh, most likely, uh, most of those that are coming out in the next uh, next few days as well are going to be quite strong, uh, given the forecasts, and that could help support this uh, U.S. stock market movement, uh, which is gen generally then going to continue to support that risk on. So the big moves are out in terms of the risk off moves. You're not going to see dramatic moves uh, likely in the next couple of days without something new coming. And so, um, in that in that sense, be watching for these trends to continue that have started in the last few weeks, uh, or sorry, in the last week or so, which is that euro recovery and the pound recovery as the main way of playing this. Look, if you want to have a look at some of your crosses as well, uh, we can do that in a little bit more detail uh, you, with your personal dealer or myself. Come through on the contact details below. Uh, you can also get some uh, daily trade ideas at the Easy Markets channel at TradingView. I'll put that in the link below as well. Uh, looking for a little bit of a, a counter trend move here in the dollar index to, to bounce up today. Um, but uh, broadly speaking, that's more technical than sentiment-wise, so uh, you may want to keep a, a little eye on the price action before actually getting in uh, to the market. Um, wait for the for that uh, US dollar strength before even uh, contemplating buying uh, the US dollar in the current market. All right, traders, uh, that's enough for today. We'll be back tomorrow around about the same time. Uh, you'll be able to get us uh, here uh, midday. Uh, you can always call in earlier, though, if you do want an update. Uh, early in the day and that's something that we do provide uh, quite regularly. Uh, also research does come out to you um, around about 10 a.m.